In this video, I will show you how to get Telegram messages for new Zoom meetings automatically. So assume that you have created a group in Telegram with all your team members and whenever you schedule any new meeting into your Zoom account, you will have to manually copy the meeting URL, meeting date and time and share it with your team. But what if I tell you that you can entirely automate this process? Yes, you just need to schedule a meeting into your Zoom account and the details will be shared automatically on your Telegram channel with your team so if you also want to set this automation for yourself come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step now to automate this process I'll have to integrate zoom account and telegram application and I'm going to do that with the Pabli connect which is an integration and automation software here you can see I am an existing user of Pabli connect so I am already logged in you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard simply click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided the name as send zoom meeting updates on telegram automatically well instead of updates i think i should write it as details all right so send zoom meeting details on telegram automatically now simply click on this button that is create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are trigger and action so here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens, then automatically do this try to understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay according to our use case whenever any new meeting is scheduled into the zoom application then automatically share the meeting details in telegram application okay so that is why i have selected these two application in to the trigger and action window okay now i am going to connect telegram and zoom with the public connect one by one okay so firstly select the trigger event that is configure the webhooks okay and then i am going to click on this button connect then click on add a new connection and here for the connection it is asking for the token so how you can get this token you will have to follow these instructions one by one so firstly it is asking to log into your zoom account then navigate to the left sidebar that is admin then visit this app marketplace then we will have to open this zoom app marketplace okay so this is my zoom account and here you can notice an option of advanced click on that then click on app marketplace and here exactly we are going to create a new application basically we are going to build an app all right so the option is here that is develop click on this build app then you will have to select this webhook only option okay so simply click on create and provide any random name to your application okay so how about i provide the name something like connection with telegram okay i'm providing this particular name now simply click on create and then you will have to provide further details so basically it is asking for the company name so how about i write the company name something like pabli okay for the it is asking for the developer contact information okay so i will add the name of the person that is demo user okay assume that this is my name okay asking for the email address demo at the rate pablitudes.com i am adding the testing details only here all right now it is asking for the links which are completely optional so i will leave all these three fields blank simply click on continue and then here you can see a secret code is provided basically secret token is provided which i am going to copy from here come back to the pabli connects dashboard and here exactly i will paste the same click on save and as soon as you will click on save you will see your zoom application will be connected with the pabli connect and then it will give you a webhook url so you will have to copy this webhook url and then you will have to visit your zoom application once again all right so here it is asking to select the event subscription okay so basically i am going to enable this event subscription option and then i am going to add a new event subscription okay so firstly it will ask you the name of the subscription which is completely optional then it will ask you that even notification endpoint url so here exactly i'm going to paste the same webhook url which i have received via pabli connect 
now it is asking to validate this url okay so you can come back to the public connects dashboard click on this button save and send test request and then you will have to select this validate option and this is how the url will be validated now it is asking that which particular event you would like to select okay so in this particular case i want that whenever a new meeting is scheduled in that case the zoom meeting data should get sent to public connect so that is why i will select this meeting has been been created okay simply click on done and here you can see the event has been added simply click on continue and it is asking that would you like to leave so i would like to first stay because firstly i am going to save this application okay and here you can see it is added simply click on continue and here you can see my app is activated on the account that is connection with the telegram okay so that means the connection in between zoom and public connect is done now in order to test that whether this connection is working absolutely fine or not i am going to create i'm going to schedule a meeting into my zoom account and here you can see it is waiting for the response okay so let us once again go back to our zoom account and here i will directly visit this meeting section okay well i am already into the meeting section only and then i'm going to schedule a meeting in front of you okay so firstly it will ask you to provide the name to your meeting okay so whatever write something like like meeting with mr roy for discussing the partnership all right so i have provided the name when this me meeting should be happen okay so i will select the timing as 28th april okay asking for the timing so i want to schedule this meeting for 12 30 pm and the duration will be 30 minutes only why i am selecting only 30 minutes because in my current plan it can only support 40 minutes okay so i will change it as zero and there will be a 30 minute online meeting okay and the time zone will be gmt plus 530 only now i will click on the save button and you will see my meeting will be scheduled into the zoom account and once the meeting is scheduled you will see that the details will be received via public connect and here you can see the details are already received okay so if i will show you the details one by one here we have the topic of the meeting that is meeting with mr roy for discussing the partnership partnership i'm sorry for that here we also have the time of the meeting basically the date and time of the meeting we also have the time zone and here we have the url to join this meeting okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between zoom and public connect is working absolutely fine and now onwards whenever you will schedule any new meeting into your zoom account the details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay once the meeting details is captured what should be the next step so basically it should send the meeting details on telegram channel or on telegram group okay so firstly i am going to select the action event that is send a text or reply send a text message or reply then click on connect click on add new connection and for connection again it is asking for the token so how we can receive the token from the telegram application again you will have to read the instructions one by one so firstly it is asking that go to bot father then you will have to type the slash new bot to the message box and then press enter okay so come back to the telegram application and here you can see bot father is here then i am going to paste the same thing that is slash new bot new bot i'm sorry for that now it is asking that all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot so what name i should should provide to my bot so what if i write something like automation with telegram something like this okay automation with telegram let me also correct the spelling of with okay i hope it is looking good now simply click on enter and i am expecting that it will take this username and yes it is saying that good let's choose a username for your bot and here you can also notice that it is clearly written that it must end in bot okay like this for example tetris so you will have to provide this underscore bot okay so let me first paste the same name then i will add 1 2 3 
and underscore bot okay so i have also provided a username to my bot and it is saying that done congratulations on your new bot and here we have received this token let me copy this token and then go back to public connects dashboard and then i am going to paste the token here click on save and this is how connection in between telegram and public connect will be also successful and here you can see it is connected now before i provide any details here basically the chat id and the text message firstly let me tell you a very important thing that is you will have to add this particular bot as a part of that group or that channel in which you would like to send the messages or in which you would like to send the meeting update okay so firstly i am going to copy the name of the bot and assume that i would like to send the update in this pably youtube video team okay so firstly i will add this particular bot as a member of this group and then i am going to change the permission of this bot from normal user to the admin okay i repeat you will have to promote this particular user promote this particular bot as an admin of this particular group okay and that is only possible via telegram mobile applications so firstly i am going to open the telegram application into my mobile and then i am going to add this particular bot basically automation with the telegram as an admin of this group of this channel all right so if i will refresh this telegram application you will notice that the same bot has been promoted as an admin of this particular group okay so here you can see automation with the telegram is now admin of this group okay so now come back to pably connect and here i will provide the chat id so firstly you will have to read the instructions enter the chat id for the target chat okay and this is the chat id so from where you can get this chat id so in whatever the group or in whatever the channel you are about to send the messages you will have to copy the id from the ur okay so i have already copied the same let me paste the same and let me tell you that you will also have to visit this particular documentation because everything is mentioned here very clearly and if i will take you at the last page at the down you will notice that here what is written enter the chat id with the prefix 100 okay so if you are sending the messages in channel you will have to add this 100 also along with your chat id okay so let me also do the same after this hyphen i will add this 100 okay now it is asking that what message you would like to send to your team so basically i would like to send the meeting details to my team so here you can see i have already prepared a small message let me first copy the same and i will be pasting the same and then i am going to correct the formatting of this message that is a new meeting is scheduled into the zoom okay before that i should also add this hello team okay press comma and then enter hello team a new meeting is scheduled into the zoom i am sharing the details of the meeting here in the group and here i will add the meeting title so here we have the meeting title as a uh, meeting with mr roy okay so from where i am going to provide the data remember we have just received the data into our previous response and i don't even need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple inside pably connect you just need to click on this link and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the meeting title which was meeting with mr roy for discussing the partnership then i am going to add the meeting date and time with my team basically i want to share this particular data also okay so how i can map it again search for the date and time okay it should be start date and time okay so here we have the timing as 28th of april and 7 pm but remember while scheduling the meeting i have provided the timing as 12:30 pm so why this timing is showing like this so basically this particular timing has been captured into the utc format so i can simply convert this utc timing into the normal local timing and this is how i can get the exact timing for that i'll have to introduce one more extra step before this telegram bot okay so simply click on this plus icon and here you will have to search for the date and time formatter feature which is an amazing feature offered via pably connect via which you can perform various kind of operation within your dates basically within your automation okay so this time i will go with this format date with the time zone okay click on connect and it will be connected with the pably connect immediately and the very first thing 
it will ask you the timing basically the date and time so again i am going to map the date and time that is from my previous response previous step response okay so here we have the date and time which i would like to format now it is asking for the from format so currently i have the format as y y y y m m d d t h h m m s s z okay well this particular format is already selected so i am not going to change i will keep it as it is asking for the two format so how about i change the format in some different format basically into the easy format so that my team will easily understand that what exactly the timing is of the meeting okay so here we have the timing as this so how about i go with this particular timing asking for the from time zone and the to time zone so here i will search for the utc timing all right that is etc slash utc and in the to time zone i will search for the local timing since i am from india so i will search for the asia and kolkata okay after providing all the details i'll click on this button and you will see the magic that the same date has been changed and we have now the exact timing that is 28th april 2023 12:30 pm okay let me even show you here also into my zoom account we have the same timing okay so coming back to pabli connect and finally i am going to map this correct date and time into this specific field okay so again i will click on this particular field and here the recent data is not visible so i can do one more thing simply click on this connect button and basically reconnect your telegram application with pabli connect in this way your automation will be refreshed and you will be able to check the new data also you will be able to select the new data also from this drop down okay so let me map the same and here we have the my meeting title i'm sorry for that here we have mapped the meeting date and time also lastly i'm going to map the meeting url to join so that my team can easily join the meeting okay so let me again search for that join url all right so this is the url which again i have mapped and i think i have provided all the important details make sure that you join the meeting on time and lastly i will write it as thanks marketing team manager okay so i think i have composed the whole message which i would like to send to my team now i'll be clicking on this button directly save and send this request and you will see the response will be received immediately and the same message will get sent automatically but currently it is showing that a bad request okay so i'll have to check what is wrong here All right so I have reconnected Telegram with Pabli Connect once again so how about I click on this button once again and check whether the messages are getting sent or not automatically and here you can see this time the response is received let me go back to my telegram application and check for the message and here you can see we have received the same message on our telegram channel so hello a new meeting is scheduled into the zoom i'm sharing the details of the meeting here in the group the meeting title is meeting with mr roy for discussing the partnership and meeting date and time is 28th of april 2023 and this is the timing and lastly we have this meeting you url to join from where all of my team members can easily join their meeting make sure that you join the meeting on time thanks marketing team manager okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to create or schedule any meeting into your zoom application the meeting details will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and then further the same details the meeting details will be sent on automatically to one of your telegram channel in which your team members are there and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect i will also attach this link into my description box so you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and you will be able to clone this workflow you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.